Yo, what is up, everybody? Here's a little update on the season where we're at so far. You guys see Kobe is still injured, still projected to be out for forever. We're actually leading the league in scoring. I'm trying to win my first scoring title with Denny Tice, and we're also trying to maybe get a second seed. I don't think the first seed is realistic with 18 games left, but maybe a two seed and, you know, try to leave um, past the Bulls and the Cavs. I don't know if that's possible. It won't be possible if Joe Johnson keeps on missing shots, and it won't be possible if Brooke Lopez misses shots as well. But, you know, maybe we could try it out as you guys see um you got brook lopez has got some like ankle sprain he's you know he's always banged up so he's thankfully not out the lineup because we do need brook lopez and you guys see Coy thompson gonna pull up this three-pointer in transition and get it to go and then um the scoring title we're in a tight battle with carmelo i want to win the scoring title because that's one of the requirements for making the hall of fame one of those 10 requirements so i definitely want to do that but um definitely gonna need to score more and probably play a few more games i've been subbing or simming a lot of games as you guys see we get the rebound and put back there off the lopez has missed early on i got all six of our points everyone else not really shooting too well I need someone to get going eventually in the meantime though i have no problem scoring for this team and slamming it all over poor poor boris dl dl was somehow on this team and this team wasn't good enough i don't know where david lee is but um boris dl is now the starting power forward as we find lopez off the double team at the end of the shot clock so um yeah we're like six 18 games left in the season already like i said i simmed a lot it's only been like what eight videos since the series started but um Spoiler alert, even though it says Kobe's out for one or two more months. And so, oh man, I, Clay's my boy and all, but I think I just destroyed Clay on that one as Iguodala's going to knock down the three. But yeah, spoiler alert, Kobe does not come back. Kobe eventually is going to be out for the rest of the season soon. So, like it says in the injury report, he's going to be out for the season. So, no more Kobe. The official Kobe season that we play with him is only three games, which really blows. Just like how Brooke Lopez's layup attempt blows. Thankfully, Brandon Jennings does a little bit better and finishes in the paint, which is what Brooke should be doing as a big man. But Jennings does as Steph Curry is going to get the pull-up two-point jumper over Lopez right there. Early on, we're doing some pretty good, a pretty decent job of guarding Curry. Definitely a better job than we did in the previous game against Curry as Brandon Jennings. Jennings is going to knock down the corner deep two right there. You guys see Curry stats two for five shooting as Clay Thompson going to make um, a flopping Joe Johnson pay for flopping. Now, thankfully, Joe Johnson going to answer on the other end and knock down the three. So this is our first game in Oracle against the um, Warriors since I left the Warriors as Joe Johnson bowls the layup right there. And without Kobe for the rest of the season, all of a sudden, you know, I'm trying to figure out. So, I mean, I already know none of these guys can really handle the big time games right now. I handle the big time shots, but you know, I got to figure out these teammates a little bit more since I know what I got for the rest of the season. I know Kobe's not going to be back and probably not Bogdanovich. You know, I, I got to figure out, you know, if I do get double team, what am I doing or anything with that? You know, for the most part, I'm going to be taking most of the shots like right here, trying to go two for one and getting a perfect release. Already having 23 points and it's not even halftime yet. And that's that's the usual stat line for me. When I actually am playing the games, I'm scoring 40 plus every single game, which usually wasn't my MO in Golden State. I think my season average was like 23 points per game and I played every single game this season. I haven't even played every single game as we knocked down the corner three right there to start the third quarter to tie the game up. But um, yeah, without even if I played every single game, my score average would be way higher than like 28 points per game whatever it is right now is clay thompson i don't know we murdered clay before but that time we definitely obliterated clay with the windmill clay's my boy and all but in the heat of the competition not so much as boris diaz is gonna get the ball curry lost off the spin move got it back and then found diaz which is apparently my fault my bad as um Drayden jennings is actually providing some pretty deep decent offense for us this game knocking down a few jumpers right now actually giving us the lead on that one and steph curry's gonna hit a slight little step back on this make it back a warrior lead but curry's only got eight points so we're doing a pretty good job of limiting him but clay thompson's gonna force the steal on brandon jennings and then steph curry's gonna hit the floater and now steph has 10 points <laughs> like man i don't want to give steph three points like that but he's shooting four for ten even though he's like two for two those last two shots like i said we're doing a pretty decent job on steph so steph's trying to get a little bit frisky here going to the free throw line i thought we was good and blocked but nice. apparently the rest saw it differently so he's going to the free throw line but um we were down like 10 points early on in this game we were down like zero to nine the start of it and now i'll send darren williams lobbing tice and we're actually up five points 
I didn't really think this game was, you know, winnable. But here we are in the heat of the battle, trying to do everything I can. Not exactly scoring 60 points like we did in the previous game against the Warriors. 63 to be exact, I think it was. But look at Denny Tice's hustle on the ground. And then when Bogut tried to, you know, force the double team before I could call a timeout, we were able to somehow get it to um, Novak. And then Joe Johnson, a big three right here. I mean, eventually someone had to make a shot on this team besides me. And thankfully it was Joe Johnson. Meanwhile, Harrison Barnes is taking and making all the shots for the Warriors. Barnes is lighting it up right now. I think he's the leading scorer for the team right now, like 19 or something like that, as we missed a pretty nice step back right there. And then Klay Thompson leaking out in transition, beating everybody, trying to get a little, you know, good shot defense, a little cheap good shot defense in there. But instead, we just had to settle for two points on the other end. Nice finish over Andrew Bogan, who's definitely one of the best defensive centers. Not really sure how we did it, but we did it. And then Steph Curry trying to get frisky out here, but we're not allowing that three-point ball. He can get in the lane and, you know, take a two-point shot, a mid-range jumper, but I'm not giving up the three to Curry. That was my MO coming into this game, and so far, it's working out really well for us as Novak just holds the ball and drains a three right there, and he's pulling out the Aaron Rodgers belt right there. <laughs> it's that celebration. I and then Steph Curry, you know, Steph's going to get some of his shots. I can't really prevent him giving zero points but we play good defense like this and get a steal and the dunk right after that'll be just enough to win this game that's all i'm worried about right now just doing just enough to win this game get the win and try to focus on that two seed as i accidentally showed his steal twice for whatever reason but um yeah, there's three minutes left in the game. We're up seven. Now about to be up five after Boris Diaz is going to finish that in the paint right there. So I'm doing it. We're, like I said, we're just doing everything we can to hold on. Like, I don't know how many more shots we can make. I know how many more shots they can make, which is a shit ton. So we got to make a few more if we want to win this game as Denny Tice is doing his best, fading away at the end of the shot clock and getting it to go over Curry. And then Curry driving to the lane and gets rejected by Tice. Curry's on the ground. He's like, where's the foul, ref? Nah, that was clean. You're not getting that foul call. He's been getting a lot of foul calls in this game, but not that one. As Diaw misses, Curry gets the ball, finds Bogut. I have no chance blocking Andrew Bogut, so Bogut's going to get that bucket right there, make it back a two-point game. Danny Tyson lining up the three, and this was my worst game, three-point shooting all season long. I've been really improving at three-point shot, shot selection and all that, but now all of a sudden it's the end of the shot clock. Curry's trying to tie the game up, going at Tice, but Danny Tice gets the block, and that's a shot clock violation. I was left on an island with Curry and I survived, and now on the offensive end, then he ties, and one dunk. Boris Diaz wasn't even looking. You gotta, you need to have 10 eyes on Tice, maybe 12 eyes on Tice, on defense. And even with that, still not that good. That was just not good enough, man. So now since a five-point game, we make the free throw after getting the end one. Steph Curry is gonna go to the line. I told you, Steph Curry was getting all the calls this game. I don't know why, but he was. Well, I know why, because he's Steph Curry. Is then he ties, trying to drive it over Curry. I saw only Curry in the paint. I knew I had a shot, but now all of a sudden, Harrison Barnes is leaking out in transition, and it's a one-point game with 40 seconds left. We need to make a shot. I'm trying to go two for one here. Definitely want to extend the lead. Denny ties in the post, fading away from the double team and getting it to go. Go. I was like, crap, I have to go two for one. So the only thing I could do was really post fade. So I went to that with my 5'11 point guard and it worked. So now all of a sudden the Warriors trying to tie the game up. I'm making sure Curry's not the guy taking threes. Anybody but Curry. Bogan in the post shirt. Sure. Clay Thompson, not so much. And Thompson for the tie. Can't get it to go. There's Brooke Lopez on the rebound. Lopez is getting fouled. He's going to the line. And man, thank God our center can shoot free throws because Brooke Lopez not only makes the first free throw, but he makes the second free throws. Warriors still with a timeout in their back pocket, so the game's not over just yet. But Curry is going to end it with that bad three right there. Not much he could do at the end of the game. And we're going to come through with the win. So leave a like on this video if you enjoyed the game. Subscribe for more NBA 2K15 My Career Games. Life after Kobe will live on for the rest of the season. And I'll catch you guys next time. We'll see how that works out.